Next item is the Fire Department Grant Award. Chief Harris. Thank you. I just wanted to announce uh, to you publicly, I sent you an email last week if you had a chance. Uh, the Fire Department received a uh, received $163,850 grant award from the Assistance to Firefighters Grant. Uh, that's a 95 federal share, 5% local share. Uh, local share is 7802, and that leaves federal share at 158048 uh, So um, that's going to provide us with some EMS equipment that's uh, badly needed to maintain our um, compliance with state public health rules, and it's going to also make some vast improvements in some of the services we can provide. Uh, so if anybody has any questions about that or want any information, I'll Willing to have an answer. <coughs> Anyone have any questions for Chief Nicholas? Hey, Gene, where's the 7802 uh, At this point, my initial plan is because I want to move rather quickly uh, to use fire tax money on that, but as we start the bid, bidding process of that, I would come forward. Okay, when do you plan on the bidding process? Um, it's going to take us uh, probably four to five weeks just to develop those specs, make sure we know what we're looking at, evaluate it. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you. Next item, <clears throat> number seven is a resolution surplus fire department property this village. The fire department has certain items which are no longer needed. Uh, section one contains three Panasonic tough book light tops and one Junior range stove. Section two contains a Bowflex exercise equipment. Uh, they would like to place section one on what gov deals and they would like to advertise and accept sort bids on section two with all money going back into the capital outlay account. We'll put that on tonight's agenda. Uh, yes. If, if I may, there's some additional things I would like to include with the, the advertising locally and sealed bids. These are items that are uh, old, what we maybe consider scrap. Uh, they don't really have the value to justify going through gut deals, paying the seven and a half percent, and then expecting somebody to dump the bar and get it. Uh, I don't know if you have a copy of this or not, but I'm going to make sure everyone does. Uh, that lower paragraphs there in the bulleted items. So, um, in addition to the bow flex, there's an old uh, riding mower that doesn't run, uh, probably doesn't roll very well. Um, but uh, that, and then there's five varying sizes toolboxes that mount on truck beds, flatbeds that were on our old brush truck that come off. Um, and I'd just like to take seal bids on those, advertise them locally as opposed to going through the of this process. As a second note, uh, at the very bottom of that list, there are two other items that were less than a $500 asset in their inventory. And I'd like to request that we can donate those to the Limrock Asheville Volunteer Fire Department. A 220 gallon water tank and a wildland hose reel that are of no use to us any longer, and those guys are really using the real good mutual aid partners with us, so I'd like to help them out if we could. Thank you. Two minutes to move everything over from before, before you in, uh, <coughs> uh, being in work position, and I hadn't had an opportunity to talk to you, but I'd like to talk about one other item. Okay. Uh, as we all know, uh, there's probably coming a time in the very near future that we will be involved with rescue squad and some changes being made, and uh, maybe some assistance from the city with some things they need. But, <coughs> In the meantime, 
they, and I, I never failed to brag on the rescue squad because so many times they got me out of a tie. <clears throat> like spend a whole week at Goose Pond trying to find two bodies in the river. Uh, when these are all working people, family people, and, and they had to take away from all of that to do this. And, and they've done it a hundred times over. Well, Gary Cove couldn't survive without them. Uh, people lost in the woods, people, you name it, they did it. And they never, never even hesitate when you ask them. And, and I say that to say that up on Tupelo Pike, uh, about four or five blocks up on the right, we were asked one time to, to tear a house down uh, because the people couldn't afford to tear it down, but they were willing to donate that lot, one lot, to the city of Scottsboro. And we did that, and, and, and they did what they were supposed to do. They donated to the city of Scottsboro. Now, based on the fact that these other things are going to be happening soon, and more importantly, they've been uh, cut in the funds they received by a number of people based on the economy and, and other matters. And, and they're getting by with less money. I would like to see the city donate that lot to the rescue squad, allow them to do whatever they want to, whether it be sell it uh, or whatever, to try to raise some money for them. Because it's a, a lot just sitting there that we really don't need. Uh, and they did. So I would like you to consider that if you would.
not, we'll vote on Thursday night. All right. Uh, we'll Next item is a resolution is the hazard mitigation plan. Do I have a motion to approve that resolution? Make the motion to approve. Uh, second. Second. Any discussion? Now we'll vote on Thursday night. All right. Uh, we'll Next item is the resolution to approve the uniform bids. And it was said the bid committee uh, was to award it to CentOS Corporation of Madison, Alabama. They have a motion to approve the uniform bids to CentOS. Make a motion. I have a second. Second. Any discussion? Now we'll vote on the first out. All right. Uh, we'll go Next item is the resolution for surplus fire department property. And in this motion, <clears throat> we'll have section A, uh, some surplus, we have to surplus all the items. Uh, but we'll have it surplus for section A, gov dot deals, section B, seal bids, section C, would be donated to Lynn Rock and High School a volunteer fire department. So that being said, do I have a motion to approve that? I make that motion that we allow them to auction through good deals, three laptops and one jet air range stove to be advertised locally through seal bids for a boat exercise equipment to ride my motor is not in very good shape. Uh, five various size toolboxes. And then last, the third item is to donate to Nimrock Asheville Volunteer Fire Department one 220 gallon tank and a wild land hose reel. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? I will vote. I'm in favor say aye. Aye. I'm in favor say no. <coughs> Go to reports, Mayor. Yeah, I just have um, one question, and I, I guess it's for Mr. Miller, maybe for some of these out here. I, I've been asked about the uh, parking lot across the post office, the status of that, and uh, was that how's it come along? Is it going to be open soon? I just had several questions about it from other people. The uh, DRA actually, some of them are here tonight. They have a meeting tonight uh, following the council meeting, and they have to approve the bids. They have two bids on the striping for the lots as soon as they approve the bids, uh, then they'll get that taken care of probably the next couple of weeks. Okay, thanks. That's all I have. Thank you. Mr. Smith? No, I don't have anything. Mr. Stewart? Um, yes, I just wanted to, I hope everyone saw a lot of the activities that went on this past weekend from the state tournament, state softball tournament. There was a lot of families here. They were from all over, and I think 23, so they were from all over the state of Alabama, uh, Doth and Troy, as far south and far north and west and east. Everywhere. So it was a really good turnout, and uh, so the rec department did a very good job. With it. And uh, that's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Miller. I'd just like to echo what Gary said. The rec comm staff did a great job with the tournament. It's still going on, I guess. Again, tomorrow is the final day, um, so they they've done a good job and a lot of talking to a lot of people out there have really talked well with Scottsboro, so that's nice. And of course this weekend we have the districts women coming up, so we'll have another 20, 30 teams in, the, in town this weekend. So that's, that's great. That's all I have. Thank you. I don't have anything tonight. With that, a motion to adjourn? Make a motion. Have a second? Second. Any discussion? No, we'll go on the paper say aye. Aye. We'll say no. We're adjourned. Thank you all.